Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and today we are talking about Palantir. Palantir Technologies offers an amazing investment opportunity through their PLTR stock, and to prove this, I will be addressing their new company developments, I will provide counter evidence against bearish arguments, then we will discuss a variety of analyst PLTR stock price predictions and targets, the company's growth rate for their Palantir stock and their revenues, along with the most recent Palantir Technology stock news. Go and press the like button right now for more PLTR stock news updates and analysis. Comment down below how many Palantir shares that you own. Turn on all subscription notifications to stay informed. And now let's get right into today's stories. We will start off by addressing the negative bearish arguments against Palantir Technologies and their PLTR stock. These bearish arguments consist of three main points, but I will only be addressing one of the three points, which is their revenue concentration risk, because I have already addressed the other two points, which are the company's lackluster margins and their stock-based compensation plans in previous videos. However, I want you to keep in mind that despite these bearish points that the company is on track and that they are heading towards a direction of fantastic long-term growth. Currently, negative bearish investors think that Palantir is too exposed to US government contracts, which means that Palantir is not diversified enough, which in turn adds significant risk to Palantir as an investment, because if they lose one or more of their contracts, it could be detrimental for the company because Palantir relies so heavily on these contracts for the majority of their revenues. Now, personally, I am surprised by this argument, and I could see how at one point this argument could be a good argument argument, but I would say that right now, Palantir is decently diversified between both government contracts and commercial agreements. Palantir has around 169 active customers, which spreads their risk out into multiple companies and agencies, which consists of both government and commercial clients. But even if we were just to isolate on their government contracts, they are still very diversified. They have huge contracts with many well-known agencies that can continue to give bigger and better contracts to Palantir as time goes on. For instance, Palantir does business with the likes of the US Army, the Navy, the FBI, the National Institute of Health, the Securities and Exchange Commission, the IRS, the FDA, the Coast Guard, and the US Air Force among many others. The Palantir stock price per share is expected to increase as time goes on because in the future, we have to keep in mind that Palantir's commercial clients will eventually generate more revenue for them compared to their government contracts because on average, commercial enterprises give larger valuation multiples than government contractors. So the bears would be very wrong in this case to assume that Palantir will be ruled by government contracts, but even if they were right, government contractors are some of the best companies and stocks to invest into. Now we may see some volatility here in the market which includes PLTR stock because of what is happening over in China with Evergrande which is a huge company that builds and sells real estate but they just defaulted on hundreds of billions of dollars worth of loans some of which was lent by American companies to them so we could see ripple effects from this over here in the states. However, apart from the overall market being on edge and well overdue for a correction or pullback, Palantir stock has done a great job at holding its value above $21. Ideally, we want the PLTR stock price to stay above $23, because if it drops below that price, the stock will turn bearish and negative, and we could see it drop much further. If we compare Palantir to the S&P 500, which is a great stock market benchmark, Palantir has traded positively 8 out of the last 10 trading days, while on the other hand, the S&P 500 has traded flat or downward over the last 8 out of 10 days. So Palantir is doing a phenomenal job of holding its value during this time of current volatility. Now we really want the stock to stay and maintain itself higher than $27.50 because if it rallies to $29.29, we could see the stock surge up to over $31 because of its volume. But despite this overall bullish stock analysis, we still have bearish analysts who talk poorly about the stock. For example, a Citigroup analyst forecasts for a 41% decline in the stock's price, so he says that investors should sell the stock immediately. This position is then echoed by another stock analyst from Morgan Stanley, who reiterated his sell rating for the PLTR stock because he thinks that the stock should only be worth around $22 by this time next year. 
However, we slowly get more bullish when we look at what analysts think from Wolf Research and RBC Capital, which both have a neutral rating for the stock and an identical price target of $25 per share. The reason for this is because the analyst liked Palantir's competitive moat, innovative technology platforms, and their special market strategy. The most bullish, however, out of all these institutions comes from an analyst from Jefferies who maintains a strong buy rating for the stock at a price target of $31. The analyst went on to say, and I quote, we believe that PLTR's commercial initiatives aim to bring its platform to the mass market and that this will take years, not quarters, to execute. I personally like to side more with the bullish analysts when it comes to Palantir due to their amazing government contracts as well as their impressive commercial partnerships like their partnership with IBM. I also enjoy how Palantir is investing into SPAC companies to use up their extra cash which they use up as investments and I also think that Palantir will be worth much more than it's valued at right now in the near future. And this is due to their impressive free cash flow and revenue growth rates which we will touch on more in a minute. Right now, investors are packing in loads of growth for Palantir in the near future, and we can see this because their forward price to sales is nearly 30 times and their PE ratio is 135 times. But I personally am willing to pay that premium because Palantir Technologies is setting themselves up to be a major company here in the future. Palantir's data analytics software can benefit basically every industry, and this is because every company basically generates or records some type of data that Palantir can interpret using their AI technology so that companies' management teams can make better and more informed decisions. For an example, Airbus uses Palantir's Foundry platform to improve their supply chain, and BG&E uses that same technology to manage their power grids, so this technology has loads of use cases and I anticipate that the adoption of this technology will radically increase as time progresses. Palantir's management says that their market opportunity for this technology is around $119 billion, which combines $63 billion from their government sector and $56 billion from their commercial sector. We also have to remember that Palantir is a super secretive company that works hand in hand with the Pentagon, the CIA, and FBI, but it actually really should shines in healthcare institutions and financial service providers. The reason why Palantir's technology is so beneficial for these types of companies is because healthcare institutions as well as financial service providers cannot store certain personal data in public cloud storage, which means that these companies cannot use traditional SaaS products, but they can use Palantir's technology, specifically their Apollo platform, that can give those same benefits to those companies without the regulatory drawbacks. Palantir's average customer spends almost $8 million with them, and their customers have increased by 23% year over year, and their revenues have increased by 47% year over year. To me, the true winners of this stock are the investors who invested into Palantir Technologies when they went public at $10 per share. So if you only spent $1,000 and you got 100 shares, you would have more than doubled your money in a very short amount of time, and that could be worth anywhere from $2,700 to $2,900. And if you decided to sell when the stock was at its all-time highs, you would have $4,500. Palantir's revenues are growing drastically and dramatically at a projected growth rate of 30% until 2025, which will cause the stock price to rally along with their revenues, which could cause the stock price to surge because Palantir's revenues are set to more than quadruple from their 2020 revenues, which is around $1.1 billion. So by 2025, they're going to be making over $4 billion per year, which is absolutely insane. I really like how Palantir has the goal of having their Gotham system as the government's default operating system, and if they can achieve that goal, they would be getting billions and billions of dollars per year from the government. But this dream is a long way off, but definitely achievable, and if we calculate what $1,000 if you invested it into their IPO could be worth 5 years from now, which would be 2025, you would at least have made $8,000 $600, which is an absolutely insane return on investment. But what do you all think? Comment down below your average Palantir stock price. Turn on all subscription notifications to stay informed. Like this video if you made it all the way to the end, and I will see you in the next YT video.